A moment you saw one hour and 15 minutes ago, live on CBC News Network, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence getting his vaccine shot, the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, this morning in Washington. <clears throat> Excuse me. The second in line for the presidency, the highest ranking member of the Trump administration to be vaccinated, his wife Karen and Surgeon General Jerome Adams also got the shot in a television event. Now, our senior Washington editor was with us as we were broadcasting that, Lindsay Duncombe. She's not in Washington. We should be clear. You're at home for the holiday in Edmonton, <laughs> Lindsay, but watching the Washington scene very closely for us. And we saw that live as uh, the vice president rolled up his sleeve. Why did he do that in the way he did, Lindsay? This is all about public health messaging and trying to win over vaccine skeptics so that they will take the vaccine and America can, the United States can get out of this deep crisis that it is in that just keeps getting worse and worse by the day. About 60% of Americans, Heather, say that they plan on getting the coronavirus vaccine. That number is going up, but among the president's supporters in in particular, there are a, a number of people who believe that this has all happened too quickly. And that was one of the things that Pence addressed while he was speaking today. He praised the scientists and officials that got it to the point where people were able to be vaccinated, but defended the safety of the vaccine. Here's what he said. While we cut red tape, we cut no corners. And thanks to Operation Warp Speed, thanks to incredible research companies, thanks to the great work at the National Institute of Health and the great and careful work of the FDA and the leadership of our president in Operation Warp Speed, the American people can be confident. We have one, and perhaps within hours, two safe and effective coronavirus vaccines for you and for your family. When he says perhaps to there, Heather, what Mike Pence is referring to is the fact that yesterday uh, a team of experts endorsed the Moderna vaccine, and we are waiting to find out if the FDA will approve that. That's widely expected to happen very shortly, as the vice president indicated. All of this, as the crisis just gets worse, take a look at some of these grim numbers. On Wednesday, a record number of deaths in the United States, more than 3,000. 600 people killed uh, by COVID-19. Hospitals are break hospitalizations breaking records too. More than 100,000 people currently in hospital right now. So that is why there is such a public push for people to believe in this vaccine. But it is not going to be the only information that people are receiving. Just last night on T Tucker Carlson uh, on Fox News which program, millions of people, millions of the president's supporters watch, uh, there was a whole segment questioning the vaccine effort, questioning Dr. Anthony Fauci. So this information battle as the vaccine rollout continues to happen all around the world is going to be something that will continue. Lindsay, this is the vice president, Mike Pence, getting the shot today. What about the president, Donald Trump? What about the president-elect, Joe Biden? Do they have plans to do the same? Joe Biden is expected to get uh, the coronavirus vaccine next week. He qualifies because he's 78 years old. That's true also of other elected officials on both sides of the aisle. However, when it comes to the president, it's a bit of a different situation because, of course, Donald Trump had COVID-19. He not only had the virus, he also received antibodies as uh, a course of his treatment. White House spokesperson Kayleigh McEnany was asked about uh, plans for the president taking the vaccine. Uh, here is how she answered that question earlier this week. He will receive the vaccine as soon as his medical team determines it's best, but his priority is frontline workers, those in long-term care facilities, and he wants to make sure that the vulnerable get uh, access first. Interesting, though, looking at where the president's attention has been as this vaccine rollout is getting underway. He's tweeted a bit about the vaccine, but there are reports, uh, and you can see it from his Twitter feed, that what the president is really thinking about and focusing on are those conspiracy theories and false claims uh, about the election that he hasn't moved on from, even though uh, most, even in his own party, already have. 
Thank you, Lindsay. Senior Washington editor, Lindsay Duncombe.